Occupy LA took over the port of Long Beach this morning with the intent of shutting it down, but they were unsuccessful. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live in Long Beach where police have pushed the protesters out, and of course, the weather didn't help either, Joy. No, the weather didn't help at all, but uh, it didn't stop hundreds from coming out here, and things have certainly calmed down in comparison to what they were just a couple of hours ago. There are still a few Occupy protesters here around the park area, but again, they were not successful in shutting down the port completely, but they certainly caused quite a stir. Protesters gathered early. The workers united. Armed with enthusiasm and a mission to occupy Dock J in the port of Long Beach. We're here to make a statement to the people who control the ports that we have the power. About 400 demonstrators marched from Harry Bridges Park to SSA Marine, a shipping company owned predominantly by Goldman Sachs. The plan? Draw attention to corporate greed, unfair wages, and unbalanced exports. The boats come in full and go out almost empty. Protesters stopped as soon as they hit a line of Long Beach police officers. They stood in front of employee parking lots and sat in the street, preventing trucks from taking their typical routes. You need to move back beyond the fence to the pre-designated protest area. But many protesters didn't know where to go. And they moved the protest cones about six, seven times that I saw. Confusing those who came in peace, inciting those who didn't. <laughs> There was pushing and shoving and one arrest as officers attempted to move the crowd. Initially this morning, the Long Beach Police Department let protesters get much closer to Doc J. And slowly, it's taken about an hour, but they have moved protesters back about 300 yards. It was purposeful misdirection between Harbor PD and LAPD. They did it intentionally to screw up the protest and have a chance to arrest people. Also frustrated truck drivers like Steve Chang. He gets paid by the job and can't get through. You know, they have to go someplace, not here. You know why they closed the street? There were other entrances to SSA, so eventually the trucks got through and so did dock workers. The protest unsuccessful in a complete shutdown, but those standing in the street say their point was clearly made. Obviously, one of the issues that uh, protesters ran into today was that they did not have support from the Longshoremen's Union. Obviously, a very strong force out here on the docks, so their workers were able to use other entrances to get to work. Reporting live in Long Beach, Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News. All right.